Hi, this is Michelle Kasky from homeschoolyourboys.com. Homeschooling is such an amazing privilege. It's something that I am so happy that I'm able to do with my boys. But if I'm honest, there are times when I get tired and I could use a break. Um, sometimes I don't feel as excited about teaching those lessons. Sometimes it just seems like the year drags on and I'm really ready <laughs> to take a little bit of time off and to try to recharge my own batteries. And when that happens, it's very important for us to listen to those cues that we're receiving. Um, sometimes they're cues that we're receiving from our body. Um, sometimes we're not getting enough sleep or we're not eating the right foods. Um, to actually be able to fuel ourselves and to be at our best. And sometimes, can we be honest, it's just that the year has been dragging on. Sometimes we've had difficult things we've had to deal with in our life. Sometimes our kids have been less than enthusiastic and that sort of zapped some of our enthusiasm for teaching. And sometimes we just need to give ourselves a break. So I know when I need a break, one of the best things that I can do is to get outside. Something about getting that vitamin D, something about breathing the fresh air is so restorative to me. And I know that that's something that will help me to feel re-energized. So sometimes I just need to take a break from homeschooling, give my boys a few minutes to do their own thing and go off by myself and take some time going for a walk. Sometimes I just need to take a nice warm bubble bath and clear my mind and allow some of the cares of the day to blow away. So if you are feeling like you could really use a break, one of the best things that I would recommend is that you actually before you're feeling like you're at your breaking point, make a list of some things that really help you to feel more energized, whether it's reading a book or taking a walk like I mentioned or driving in the country or whatever it may be, spending some time in prayer. Uh, make a list before you actually feel like you need that break and post it somewhere that you will uh, remember where it's at or you'll be able to see it on a regular basis and then when you feel yourself needing that recharge you won't have to try to come up with ideas because at that point you might not really be feeling inspired so you can just look at your list and pick something on there and force yourself to do it sometimes when I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed one of the last things that I want to do is pull myself away and take some time for myself but that's honestly what I need, and that may be what you need to do as well. So if you are feeling like you need to take a break, take a break. It's all right. Everything will still be here waiting for you when you're done with your break, and you'll probably surprise yourself because when you're feeling more energized and rested, you'll be able to accomplish so much more than if you tried to just push through and finish things when you were feeling burnt out. So, again, this is Michelle Kasky from homeschoolyourboys.com, and I hope you have a wonderful day.